Hey everyone, it's Erica. I have another video for the Hip Kit Club design team and I'm going to be using this cut file here and then here are some papers. These are a lot of the papers or the cards from the Pocket Life kit and then I pulled in some papers from the January 2020 kits. So I'm just going to back the cut file and all I do is turn the cut file over and then the pattern paper that I want to use over and then trace the inside of each letter cut around my trace lines and then adhere it down with some wet adhesive. Um, I've been using this iCraft glue here with this really fine tip and it's been working really well for me. So I'm just going to do a couple of these on camera and then um, I'll cut to when it's all complete. This did take me a little while to do. I thought it was going to go by really fast but um, there are some florals in here and that's what took um, some extra time to back but I really enjoy backing the cut files this way um, usually when I back cut files I'll cut a whole bunch at one time uh, the ones that I know that I want to use and then when the baby's napping or at night or if I'm watching a show um, I will back the files so uh, I'm just gonna go through here and do all of the letters and the florals using um, these scraps that I have here and like I said a lot of the the pieces that I used are from the Pocket Life kit, the cards. <clears throat> Once I have the file backed, I will go ahead and add some foam adhesive all over the back of the cut file just to pop it up um, to the back of the background. I'm going to use a piece of white cardstock from the cardstock kit as my background. I'm not going to do any mixed media to this. I'm not going to add any splatters or anything. It's really um, clean and it came together really quickly. Um, I just like all of the white um, on this layout and then all of the color from the cut file. So I didn't do a lot of embellishing either. Since this cut file already had some florals connected to it, um, I kept the embellishments pretty light and just added a few things here and there. Um, a couple things tucked in around my photo, added a few florals and leaves around the cut file and um, some enamel dots as well from the Pink Paisley Lucky Us collection. Um, but I kept it pretty simple. I really love the way that the cut file looked. My photos are not the best. The lighting has been awful. And um, so I tried to get the best photo I could, but I really love how this layout came out. I love how clean it looks. And I just love all of the colors behind all of those letters. So this photo here is an older photo of my son and I when we took him to his first Dave Matthews concert. I'm just gonna back it with this little ticket um, as a layer from the ephemera pack. And it's just got, um, you can just see the little edges of the um, ticket there on the side of my photo. And um, we took him, Dave Matthews is my favorite band ever, and um, he really wanted to go to one of the shows, so we took him um, to see one of the concerts, and he had a really good time, and they even played his favorite song from them ever, and um, he was really, really stoked when they started playing it. So I took a whole bunch of photos on that day, but this is one that we took. I think we were just I think we ran down to either get something to eat or he had to use the restroom or something and we snapped a quick photo, a quick selfie. And um, at that time he still had his braces, his hair was growing out longer. He actually had it dyed um, in the front, like his bangs were dyed like red. <laughs> um, but I did print the picture out in black and white. Um, but it's just a really cute memory and we had a whole lot of fun. We actually invited his dad and his dad at the time it was his girlfriend, it's his wife now, but we invited her to come along as well so um, that we could all experience, you know, his first concert all together. It was really fun and and um, I'm just glad that he was able to go to a show um, and experience that with us. So um, I just thought it would be fun to scrap this photo with this cut file. So I'm just going through all of the embellishments. I have all of the kits out and I'm um, just, adding things here and there. I have this puffy sticker here from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm gonna pop it up on some foam adhesive and add it right there um, inside of that O. I took one of the Pink Fresh Studio frames, that black and white stripe one, and cut it so I could have a little bit of it peeking out at the top of my photo. Added a little leaf die cut there as well and then I'll also add some florals around my photo 
um, here in just a little bit. My phone, when I was recording, kept going off and going off, and I didn't put it to do not disturb, so I did m miss out on some of uh, my embellishment embellishing. So you'll see I added the uh, leaf up there by the U, and then down at the bottom right corner, um, I added another floral down there as well. Um, I have that little chipboard there next to the photo, and then I will add some floral pieces here to the photo, around the photo as well. Really, really simple. I love using cut files. It's a great starting point to get a, uh, a layout done. Um, I use cut files about 90% of the time on my projects. I just love them. I love that you can get so much color and so much pattern on one page just by using a cut file. So just adding a few more embellishments around the page. And then the last thing I'll do is add my journaling with my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter. I absolutely love my typewriter. I know it's like some people love it, some people don't. I love it. It's so imperfect and wonky and I just love it. I just love the way that it comes out. And you could also, if you don't have a typewriter, you can print your um, journaling on your computer with a typewriter font. I just really just like my handwriting. Sometimes I'll use it, but most of the time I just use my typewriter and I love the way that it looks. So adding this die cut inside of this O and I'll make sure that the links are down below for you guys so you guys can find this cut file easily in the Hip Kit Club shop. Just make sure that you are registered on the website so that you guys can get access to the free cut files. And I will also leave links to the January 2020 kits and um, make sure you guys head on over to our Facebook group so that you guys can get lots of inspiration there using the kits. Some still shots for you guys, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye.